buongiorno. I finally got around to sharing with you all of the things that I wore the other day to get this makeup look that you guys like went crazy over on Instagram. I must have had, without exaggeration, four to 500 DMs only about the eyes alone. And when I told you what it was, I actually had a lot of people tell me that it looked like I was wearing a lot more than just that on my eyes, but it wasn't. So I'm gonna show you, it's the exact same look, the same face, the same makeup, the exact same everything I wore when I put on that mulberry eyeshadow stick. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I achieved it. You see how the eye looks very dimensional, but it's only one shadow and just a brown liner just to thicken the lash line. That is it. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna walk you through it. I hope that you enjoy it. Let me know down below what you wanna see next because I am in a fall fashion mood. I'm in a fall shopping mood. Um, finally feeling good, finally getting out of my funk, which feels really good. Um, so yeah, just tell me. I have a hair on my, on my hand that's driving me crazy. And I think that's it. So I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna put my headband on. Look at my hair. I promise it's gonna look great by the end of it. And I've got my chamomile. Um, it's so chilly. Mm. I don't know if the lighting changed at all, but should be good, should be good. Um, We've had some seriously beautiful like days here, okay? I don't remember ever. I'm gonna start with my under eye cream. I've been doing a little under eye cream pretty much under all my makeup recently because my under eyes are just so dry. Um, I don't remember ever the last week of August already being so chilly in the morning and like the first week of September not being able to even go in our pool because it gets so cold at night and in the mornings that the pool isn't warm in the afternoons and then you have to heat it, which takes like all day, it's a whole thing. So it's been, it's giving me all the fall feels for sure. Um, I'm gonna let that under eye cream just sit for a minute. I've already moisturized. Um, skincare is always done like first thing in the morning and usually like if I'm gonna do my makeup, I let my skincare sit. So I always need to put moisturizer on top of it. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the brows. This is what I use. It's my favorite like eyebrow pencil. And if you've been with me for a while, you remember me telling you that this is like, remember like the eyebrow pencil from MAC in the color Spiked? That used to be like my favorite. And, oh, just messed that one up. My favorite, and then like they reformulated it, which I can't stand. So, um, I stopped using that, but I went ahead and switched to this and I've loved it. And I just do a little bit in the front. Sorry, my eye is so itchy. Ah. Anyway, I just switched to this and I just do a little bit in the front like that. And then just like a little bit on the top. And then I just take the opposite side with a spoolie and brush it through. And then the thing that really kind of like takes these brows to like excellence is this. Now, if you don't like your brow to be stuck in place and like you have to remove it, then you won't like this. But I take a little bit of that like on a disposable little spoolie. Not much, not really. A lot came out of that. And it keeps my eyebrows like in place all day and it just shapes them so beautifully i can't even deal it's my favorite i'm gonna go ahead and do this side and by the way that will last you forever okay, i always say this is my good brow this is my brow um but once those are done then you can let those sit mm. i'm gonna work on everything else we're gonna do the eyes first I always do my eyes first and it's a really 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 easy eye look to do and you guys were just loving it the other day so this is the star of the show it's a, a bobby brown shadow pencil and the color is mulberry not typically a color that i would use any other time of the year except for fall because it is like a like a pretty i think bright berry color but 
it's got like a beautiful mauve purple undertone i don't know if you can really tell but it's really beautiful i just apply it like that and then i take a blending brush and i literally will blend those edges and sometimes i'll even add a bit more if i blend it out too much but i don't really do much to it because the color itself is so stunning that as it dries it'll dry down and you don't have to top it with anything so it just makes the whole thing very very easy side. i'm gonna take a brown pencil and i'm just here to darken the very base of my lash i'm not doing like a real wing nothing like that just kind of like darkening the lash base a little just like that and once we put on our foundation and everything it'll clean that up okay and that's pretty much going to be the eyes done for now so we love that and we can move on to the face i don't always do a i don't always do a primer but i've been really enjoying this rare beauty illuminating primer yeah i've been really enjoying it it looks like that and i use it in my hands don't judge me listen i have really dry skin so anything that's like a little light boosting illuminating is always good and i like it in the summer because it just gives my skin a really beautiful natural glow but I, my skin's already like going through the dehydrator okay it's already starting to feel dry and i hate that feeling so i'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of something underneath my foundation just to boost that um radiance this is some under eye corrector holy moly that i put a lot on you do not need this much i'm gonna take it, a lot of that off actually it is a pink corrector which really kind of helps with those dark under eyes okay now i'm just going to go ahead and let this sit for like a minute or so i want that primer and that corrector to just kind of like start to set before i add my foundation let's go into foundation i'm like to use like a makeup palette or you can use so use like a lid to something when i apply my foundation because i feel like when i really work the foundation in to the brush it just gives you a much more flawless look so i'm going to take this foundation which i love this foundation by the way it's the super stay 24 hour skin tint i have everything linked down below including shade names i'm going to just put some of that on there like that i'll take my foundation brush and then I like to really work that in. I believe that's called priming your brush. I'm not sure. But it just makes it so that your foundation's well distributed throughout your brush, which I really like. And it makes it so that you're not applying excessive amounts of foundation to your skin. Because especially with someone with dry skin, it's going to cling. Any excessive foundation will cling to dry spots and that's just never a good look for me so i like to avoid that at all cost and i'm just gonna blend that in like this it's just like so much more i think i'm gonna say i'm gonna use the word flawless and what i mean by that is i don't mean like every bit of your skin is covered there's still some skin showing through but it is definitely evening out my skin tone, adding a little bit of color and coverage without feeling and looking caked on. And I don't like to go under my eyes with foundation because if you think about it, you're having lots of layers under there when you are gonna do the corrector, foundation, concealer, setting powder, all of that is just gonna act all of that is just going to work on making that area really cakey and thick and dry um and it will accentuate every line you may have so i never like to go under there with foundation 
it's a good idea to let your foundation sit for a few minutes as well. And before I move on to concealer, I always like to do a cream contour just because I feel like it allows me to have really good dimension without using a ton, ton powder. And I, this is a new one for me. And the shade is Mom, Mommy, Wish Me. No Limits Harmony. Names are so small on things. I quite literally cannot. Um, it's a cream contour stick. It's very, very, very creamy. I cannot use it straight from the tube. A, it's way too pigmented. B, no matter which way I use it, I just feel like I get so much on and then I look like mud. So I would like to use a small like concealer brush like this. I put a little bit on. It's very creamy. I kind of like to go on the very top of where that cheekbone is. You don't need much like that. And then I just turn my brush over and whatever's there, I kind of pull it up and into my hairline like so. I like to work one side at a time because I don't want it to sit and then become really difficult to work with. And then I take this brush and I just blend that into my skin. And if I were to just take it from the tube, it's so pigmented, very creamy, very beautiful, but it's so pigmented, I can't, like my entire face is this product. So that's why I like to do it this way. And you can always do a couple of layers. Say for example, you're like, oh, you know what? I didn't put enough or I took too much off. You can always do a bit more, but it's really difficult to take some off if you've overdone it. So that's why I like to just do it this way and then I just oh never blend down you always want to just blend up once it's here I'm gonna go in with my concealer this is one of my favorite concealers of all times I've talked about this before when it comes to high-end concealers there are two that I think are really worth it one is the Dior is it the Dior backstage pretty sure it is and the second one is this Hourglass Concealer. The shade I am using is Fawn, which is pretty much like a perfect shade for me right now. You don't need much. I'll put a little bit there and a little bit there. Um, you want that right there. One side at a time. It's like the perfect shade for me right now because I don't like an overly highlighted under eye. I think you can see that it looks white. It looks too... Um, unbalanced is just not my favorite so I obviously like it to be a little highlighted but I don't like it to be too stark you could always and I always encourage this take your your brush that you used on to do your contour and blend out the edges it'll just give you a really flawless transition I'm gonna take whatever's left over on that brush that we did the contour, remember? And I'm just gonna do it on the sides of my nose. And that will just give me like an, I'm gonna let that sit for a minute while I do my cream blush, which I love to do a bit of cream blushing, but you gotta be real careful not to overdo it. So I like to put it either on the back of my hand or on my, um, of my palette and this is one from rare beauty put it on there like that because again it's just so hard to take it away when you put too much on and then take your brush really work it in there and if you can mix a little bit of that foundation in there it's even better and it might look really like look at how stark it looks and we were able to blend that out switch it to you to your foundation brush if you feel like there's just way too much on I'll take a little bit of that off just gonna blend out that nose like I said it's just so creamy it blends out in like no time at all and now I'm gonna go ahead and start to set everything you already know these are like my go-to like no fuss don't have to think about it they're just gonna work for me powders for both my under eyes and my face you can tell how much i love it 
considering it's like down to nothing. Where's my, I'm gonna use my puff. Just take some on your puff. I like to usually use a brush, but then I have my brush here with me. Dab some of that off because you don't wanna bake. It's just to set that concealer so nothing moves throughout the day. And then switching it to this powder, which is the shade number two. I can't get this to open. I destroyed my nails last week. Long story, two weeks ago actually. I'm getting them done today. I cannot wait. Um, I just took all of my sadness and mad like anger um, for losing a friend on my nails. So that's what I did. That's why they hurt so bad. But I'm gonna go get them done today. Set that skin. And now for bronzer, I'm just gonna use my Physicians Formula bronzer. I like it. I use it on this brush. It smells so good. It smells like a vacation. I'm gonna just always blend the excess into the lid because I don't want like really, really like powder. And I'm just reinforcing, not really bronzing, but I am reinforcing my cream contour that I did with that cream bronzer. For blush, look at this blush. And you have to see how beautiful it is. You see it? Let me swatch it for you. Look at it on my finger. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. However, however, a little goes a very long way. And it is a shimmery blush, so you have to be careful. I'm going to take my brush. Watch how little I put in there. Like, you see that? And I also blend some of that out because otherwise it's going to just give you a streak. And again, you can build it. You can be like, you know what? I want it a bit more. Go back in. Add just a bit more. But it's much better to start small than to put too much on because it can go from... Like, you see, I think that has a little bit too much on there. So I just take my powder brush and just... Blend it together. I don't like to do my eyes. And typically I have a really pretty fan, but it's dead, so I'm using me as little hand fan. While my makeup is setting and before I do my brows, I'm, my brows, my lashes, I'm gonna take some of my Too Faced lip injection. Listen, okay? This is no joke. No joke. If you want to feel like you just got your lips done, you gotta get this. I like to put it like a lip liner and wait till you see what my lips will do in like a, a few minutes. It's a insane. I am going to curl my lashes. You know what the best, 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 best eyelash curler is i don't even have to tell you the shiseido best of the best nothing compares don't even think about getting a cheaper one because they do not work this one is magical i can feel my lips tingling i'm gonna go back in with that brown liner i'm going to tight line because it does like darken and if you want to you can take a little under here just look a little bit in the very outer corner. It's a daytime look, so I'm not going to do the whole thing. Oh gosh, what did I do? I like that. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara. You could do brown mascara. I'm just going to do black today. I do love my brown mascara, I have to say. I'm just going to do this one today. Keep it easy. And you see how, for whatever reason, I don't know how, I don't know how it works, but you see how that eyeshadow stick looks like we put on different color in the corner? We didn't. It just like diffuses that way when you blend it out. It's like the craziest thing. I love it. It's like that mulberry color all over the lid with a cooler brown in the crease, but we didn't do anything to the crease. We just blended out that shadow stick. It's amazing. 
it's amazing. People thought that I had like a bunch of different colors in my eye. And I was like, no, it's one thing. It's one shadow. If you want to, you can take your puff and your face powder. If you want to. It just reinforces that contour. Okay, I'm just gonna go fix my hair. And then by then, my lips will have stopped tingling and then we'll do our lips and then we'll be done. I wanted to show you, I'm just gonna curl, like the very front recurl, I should say. Even though it looks pretty curled over here, I just want a little bit more body up here. I'm not recurling my whole head because I don't need to because I already have it curled from a few days ago. And I'm just gonna split this into two, take my big wand, and it's gonna take me like two minutes. Oh, that even just fell out. It's gonna take me two minutes and it makes it look like my hair is fresh, but it's not. Okay, sharpened. I'm also gonna just take my powder brush. Because sometimes if you put anything on your lips, it makes your lip liner slip. This is a great base. This is Hazelnut mm -hmm. by Anastasia. I think the key to a beautiful lip combo is the layering. All right, that is hazelnut, which is a beautiful sort of natural, not too strong of a color look. I, however, like a lip liner look. It's just what I prefer. I love this, and I, this is the Lip Injection Lip Liner. The color is down below. They put names on so small. They put names on so small. This is going to take that lip from okay to like va va voom with a lot of good dimension i'm gonna go in with butterscotch which is really one of my all-time favorite nudes and it's so good and if you have to you can always touch up certain areas like that. It's so good. I'm a nude lip liner girly, so that is just where, going in with some ghost oil, that's just where my comfort zone is. Like I love an, uh, an occasional dark lip or a red lip or something like that, but like day to day, I'm all about that nude lip. It's just, I can't help it. It's where I feel my most comfortable. It's how I feel, like it just, I don't know. Ah, and that is it. So I hope that you enjoyed this one. That was really fun. I have a haul coming up for you as well, mostly from Amazon, but there's a couple of really good stuff. It's just, it's gonna be really good. So bear with me, because that should be coming at the end of the week as, um, as well. And then we'll maybe just do like some styling videos or things like that. So let me know your thoughts and um, try to think of what else. <laughs> I will see you in the next one. Bye.